lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. So in my yesterday's video, I'll let you guys know that Keith Powers and Sweetie were recently spotted out at a house party sitting right next to each other. If you guys didn't know, yes, back in 2010, Sweetie and Keith Powers actually used to be a couple, but they decided to break up back in 2014. Now that time has gone on and these two recently got out of their previous relationships, it looks like these two decided to reconnect and they are back on the scene with each other. Now in the video that I showed you guys, Guys, which is right here on the screen you can see that Keith Powers and Sweetie decided to sit next to each other on this small chair now I did say in my previous video that they looked pretty booed up because out of all the places that they could have sat at that party they decided to sit on a small chair next to each other like I told you guys this was first posted on Gossip of the City T shout out to them and then it was posted onto a couple of other blog pages I even seen people tagging Keith Keith Powers' recent ex, Ryan Destiny, in the post. And it looks like Ryan Destiny has finally seen the post about her ex, Keith Powers, and Sweetie being booed up at this house party. And she decides to seemingly respond by posting a clip from the popular movie Boomerang, where Holly Berry is basically saying, you don't know anything about love. Love should have brought your A home last night. What do you possibly think you know about love? You know, I'm sick and tired of men using love like it's some kind of disease you just catch. Love should have brought home last night. So it seems like our girl Ryan is pretty upset about hearing the news that Keith Powers has went back to his ex ex sweetie and she decided to post this clip onto her Insta story. Now I can't really say that I blame Ryan Destiny. Let me go ahead and let you guys know what I think about this whole situation. Now when news first came out that Keith Powers and Ryan Destiny had broken up a couple of months ago, which I seen a lot of people in my comment section from my yesterday's video asking what was Ryan Destiny and Keith Powers over. Yes, these two broke up not too long ago, a couple of months ago. When they ended their relationship, news had not only came out about the end or their breakup, but news had came out that these two ended their relationship on no type of animosity. They didn't dislike each other. They weren't mad at each other. They just decided to part ways. Now, nobody really knows how that conversation went, but I can almost guarantee you guys that these two decided to stay friends and maybe eventually get back together now i think this breakup between ryan destiny and keith powers was more of a break i think that's how it was explained because if you guys don't already know keith powers he still has a lot of the couple's pictures and even ryan's pictures on his instagram page that he is still very active on so i think keith powers may have gave ryan destiny some hope that these two would get back together and plus it still seems like he interacts with her as well by liking her pictures on Instagram and vice versa. So I think these two were still communicating. They probably were still talking, you know, still probably had feelings there because they were together for a couple of years. Ryan Destiny probably had that hope that eventually her and Keith Powers were going to get back together. Like I said, of course it would make Ryan upset expecting that they would get back together to see that he spotted out with his ex ex girlfriend, Sweetie, if that's the case and it was communicated with her that they're just taking a break and maybe they will get back with each other of course she's going to be upset to see him with his ex ex girlfriend sweetie but you guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section i feel like ryan destiny and keith powers were a cute couple but i'm even more here for sweetie and keith powers getting back together i feel like when they were together they were the dynamic duo i will definitely keep you guys up to date with this all right guys let's go ahead and move into our next topic which is going to be Janie from the old group Sarati. So unfortunately, it seems like Janie has been going through a lot of problems with her baby daddy, Lil James. Now, if you guys have been following along, you would know that Janie and Lil James, they have been going through it for the longest time. It seems like even before the baby, their relationship was very toxic, but it seems like things have got worse since the baby got here, which a lot of fans predicted. Anyways, Janie decided to speak out today on her social media about Lil James not taking 
care of his oldest son and she has been taking care of his oldest son for him which is not her son anyways let's go ahead and get into what she said exposing her baby daddy Lil James onto her insta story she said for some reason at Lil James wants to be a holiday dad and not pick up his oldest son a legend from my house knowing I have things I have to handle I love legend with all of my heart and been active in his life for going on five years him and legend's mother both aren't active in this child's life and I know Lil James stays on social media come get your son legend and be a father you and his mom both suck as parents y'all don't deserve him at all this is very sad for this child anyways she then says i've been trying to avoid ppd not knowing that this is something that i cannot completely control this is beyond unfair and selfish to not only me but your son take accountability and be a father heaven will forever be straight with or without you because i knew what i signed up for but you and the woman that you laid with for your oldest isn't my priority anymore and i mean that in the most humblest way possible she also decides to post a text message that was sent to her and it says he has to understand that you and him are done you guys share heaven together but you do not have to share legend although you have been there his whole life it's time for james to move on and that means taking his kid as well you are not his mother he is not your responsibility you did your part now it's time for him to do his she also posted to her Twitter, I literally just gave birth to going on three months ago. No one is considerate of me having PPD. Like a newborn is a lot, but leaving your five-year-old with me unknowingly for more than the amount of time that we agreed on is crazy. He said that he'd be gone for one day and I tell him that I have ish I have to do. It's been five days. So like I said, that's basically Janie exposing her baby daddy, Lil James, for not picking up or taking care of his his oldest son now if this information is true i truly feel bad for little james oldest son legend because it seems like his parents are kind of just putting him off to the side with anybody else not saying that jania is anyone but like she said she is not this little boy's parent and it's not right for little james to be leaving his son with her now after janie posted this a couple of hours later she deleted it so i'm guessing that maybe she spoke to little james or maybe little james got his son finally but like i said very sad situation for this child because it seems like everybody is just putting him off to the side i was reading the shade room comments and it seems like a lot of people feel bad and have a heart for this little boy and hopefully his parents get it together so he doesn't grow up feeling neglected anyways my prayers will be up let's go ahead and move on to brooklyn frost so it seems like a lot of brooklyn's fans have been trying to ship her in this new relationship they've been asking her constantly who she's going to collab with who she's going to get with who's her next boyfriend and she decided to make a video coming out and letting everyone know that she's just focusing on herself and if love comes or if someone comes she's just going to let that person come but for now she's going to focus on loving herself and focus on god yes love that for brooklyn now, i definitely agree with brooklyn not really sure why a lot of people are shipping her i think they just like to see her in a relationship but honestly brooklyn is very young so she has plenty of time to meet someone and can i just say she looked absolutely gorgeous in this video that she made i have no doubt that she will find the right person for her but as she said in her words in that video she's gonna let the right person come to her and i feel you girl now let's go ahead and move into our last topic which is going to be our girl young miami so young miami definitely revealed a lot to her twitter to her fans letting them know the real tea on her album and what she wants to be if she wasn't a rapper this one person said is the album still coming later this month she revealed that it's going to be next month so if you were wondering when the city girls are going to drop their album it's definitely going to be next month child another person said if you weren't a rapper what else would you want to do she answered and she said be a housewife so it looks like young miami would be a housewife if she wasn't a rapper and i have no doubt that if she decides to retire and if maybe her and diddy get more serious she will want to settle down and be a wife to diddy like i said i have no doubt especially with her holding up that 
Go Poppy at the BET Awards, child. Anyways, y'all let me know how y'all feel about all of these topics. My lovely TTs in the comments. Once again, thank you so much for watching Room for Tea. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time I upload. And I will see you in my next video.